Jurors in an IV bag tampering trial heard pretty emotional testimony about patients suffering medical emergencies after just routine procedures at a North Dallas outpatient center. A doctor is accused of poisoning the IV bags. Fox 4's Dan Godwin live this morning outside the Dallas Federal Courthouse where the trial is taking place. Dan. Brandon, on the first day of witness testimony, the jury heard from the administrator of a medical facility where unexplained cardiac emergencies kept happening involving patients choking back tears. The administrator of Baylor Scott and White Surgicare Center on Coit Road in North Dallas described her concern about the situation, which occurred over a period of months in 2022. Ashley Burks testified, quote, we were perplexed because the incidents were happening under different doctors and nurses. She added, we were desperately trying to figure out what was going on. In 2021, Burke said there were five transfers to hospitals for complications or emergencies. But during a four-month period in 2022, that number soared to 14. After a life-threatening scare involving an 18-year-old patient, Burks testified they looked at his IV bag and found a hole in it. Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz is on trial for injecting heart-stopping drugs into IV bags. Prosecutors say he was trying to deflect attention away from an earlier investigation into his own actions while working at the Surgery Care Center. Paul Coggins, a former U.S. attorney who now handles white-collar crimes, says the defense will work to raise doubts in the minds of one or two jurors about Dr. Ortiz's role. One of the things the defense is going to try to do is cast doubt on this whole motive argument uh, that, you know, he was trying to shift blame on other people. He'd had such run-ins with the Texas Medical Board and with the authorities and things like that, that he was sort of taking it out on others, you know, in this kind of crazy way. So they're going to try to cast doubt on that, say that he had no motive uh, to commit this kind of crime. And the second thing, as I said, they're going to try to show that others had the opportunity to do this. In addition to the patients affected by tainted IV bags, one doctor who took a bag home to rehydrate died. Now, if Ortiz is convicted of the tampering charges, he faces a possible life sentence in federal prison. Live in downtown Dallas, Dan Godwin on Good Day.